G'day Mark, how you going? Been watching your show. Absolutely love your cooking segment. Um, today I thought I would try some of your products that you've been using in your shit easy cooking um, episodes. Uh, this is a dish that I would normally cook at home, but I probably wouldn't do it like this with these potatoes you've been using on the show and stuff. But I thought uh, I'd try it today. Um, I'm cooking not on the Oz pig, but with a gas flame, and really, we're only using a few ingredients. The spuds that you know only too well. There's about a rash and a half of bacon diced up in a little square pieces, as you can see. Uh, that's about an onion, about the size of a golf ball, maybe a bit bigger. A couple of eggs, and the good old salt and pepper and some oil. So what I've done here is I've just used some regular cooking oil, put it in the pan. This has been on now for a couple of minutes. The first thing we're going to do here is fry up some spuds, and this is what this dish is actually called. Fried potato, egg and bacon, in German, Bratkantoffel, if you like. So the Germans will know that. So I've cheated already a little bit and diced up these potatoes into like little five mil pieces because that's how you would do it with a normal spud if you are doing it at home. So I'm going to whack those in now. As you can tell, there's a bit of heat in that pan already. And what we need to do is I'll just lower that flame a little bit because it's spitting a bit. So we'll lower it down a bit. And we'll get them to brown up a little bit because you kind of want these things with a little bit of gold crispy on them. And then what we'll do is once we start getting a bit of colour into these potatoes, we need to add some more ingredients depending on how you like your bacon. If you want it a little bit darker or a bit lighter, the onion will go in. And this kind of all gradually just goes in as you're doing it until you get everything sort of nice gold. The, the bacon's browned off a little bit. The onions are browned off a little bit, not too bad. And the very last thing, we throw in a couple of eggs on the top. A bit of salt and pepper to your own taste, I guess. Some people like a lot, some people like a little bit. Um, and you can really have this meal on its own if you want. But if I was out camping on the bikes, like you guys have been doing, and I hope to join you shortly because I've just joined, um, you know, a steak and a the peas on the side of this and you've really got a good meal and you'll enjoy it. So I won't take you through the whole process here. When uh, these buds are browned off a little bit and I've got them how I want them, then I'll start throwing in some other ingredients and I'll get you back just to show you what I'm doing and then we'll go back and look at the final product and see how we go. Alrighty, we're back. I just want to bring the camera over. This is what we were looking for. I've actually really turned down the flame here quite a bit because it doesn't take much on these little butane burners to burn stuff. So that's got colour now. The potatoes are already soft. So all we do now is we'll add our bacon and I probably add our onion at this stage and mix it all in like so. Now we just want to get a bit of colour on the rest of this. So just use our tongs or whatever you got. Use the egg spatula doesn't matter. I'm going to leave this on a low flame because as I've added this ingredients, there's enough oil in there if you want. If it feels a bit dry, just add a little bit more. doesn't matter. But also, what I would do now, it's a good time, is to add a bit of salt and pepper because it will infuse as you're cooking. And now again, this is to your own taste. If you don't like a lot of pepper, you don't use a lot of pepper. If you do what you like but I'll just go a little bit here and if you could actually be here and smell this you'd be thinking already this is going to be all right so I'm just going to keep stirring this in and turn it around so we don't end up burning it and uh, get a bit of color into that bacon and the onion and what we're going to do then is the final part of this process is when that's nearly all cooked Run a couple of eggs over the top, mix it in. That'll take only seconds. We'll get you back for that. The finished product. I'll get myself a plate ready. We'll have a taste and we'll see how we go. So I'll see you again shortly. Rightio, part three, the final part. Um, come in and have a look. Uh, the bacon is looking pretty good. I probably could have put that in a touch earlier, but 
it, it, it doesn't take much to cook, but that's the colour you want on your potato. The onions are going real good, you don't want to burn those up, otherwise it kind of makes it taste a bit bitter. So all you would do now is, you come into the final part, up to you again. You can go one, two eggs, or I'll go two. Put that in there. Now you don't have to mix it up or anything because that's all going to happen for you as we um, stir this around. So basically, what we do now is you can just break up the yolk a little bit, spread it around, share the love. And then you just kind of, when you're cooking it, because the spuds are already cooked now, the onion's cooked, the bacon's just about there. Now we're just trying to cook off the egg. Now the reason why I use these spuds is because when you would do this at home, you would normally get a spud and cut it into like, I don't know, just half a potato or a quarter of them, and then you would boil them first to get them soft, otherwise this would be just too hard to uh, do this without cooking the potato first. But as, as you've said, Mark, in your segments, these are already cooked, they're already soft, so one of the processes is taken out. Let's give this a turn, we're getting there. Um, yeah, and technically it should probably taste how it does, how I would normally do it um, in the kitchen at home. The only difference is I've used those little spuds, you can turn that frying pan off now because the egg's just about there, we'll just get rid of, as you would say, mark the snot bits and you just sort of give it a bit of a thing around there, make sure we get all that egg cooked again, if, it, if the salt and pepper's not up to your liking I think we're going to serve up soon, so keep the camera rolling put that in there without trying to Bill, and as you can see, this is one tin of those spuds in a normal bowl you would have at home in your kitchen. And I'm fighting to get that all in there. So you probably, you know, if you cooked a steak or a couple of bangers or something, or a burger, you'll get away with feeding two people on this, especially if you had a tin of peas or something like you have been in your fire. Now, I would do it, and I know you probably would do it too, because a spring onion on top there just as a garnish or some chives that will finish it off just perfect but anyway I haven't had this before with these potatoes well, let me try probably going to be very hot and see if it's what, I, what it tastes like if it, how I would normally do it inside say, for me, I'll go a little bit more salt and pepper, just a bit, that, with some spring onion on top, probably even go a little bit more bacon, mmm, hot, oh. bloody unreal. So, the spuds, if you never used them, don't bag them until you have, because I never did until watching the show, I'll be taking a couple of those with me when I go on a ride. So as I said, spuds, a couple of eggs, a couple of rashes of bacon, oil, salt, pepper, all in there. You'll be happy. Anything to do now, let's go to the fridge and get a cold beer. See you later.